What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Candy C. You are in the place to be. I can't even describe what's going on right now. Like, So, day one in quarantine barracks, 7 a.m., and they brought me breakfast. Let's see what <laughs> what we have. But my um, friend is actually out here, and she bought me some food yesterday. So, if I don't want any of this, I have my own food to eat. Okay? So, this is what they brought me to my door at 7 o'clock this morning because I'm not allowed to leave this room for 48 hours. So, eggs, hash browns, sausage, biscuit, cereal. I guess this is for lunch. And it's like, uh, what the heck is this? Ready to eat. Mm, I don't know, but I'm good on that. Milk for my cereal. Snacks. I guess this goes with the chicken. Okay. So yeah, that's what I have. Boring food. So, um, room tour, shall we? This is the door to my actual room. You come in. And this is my roommate stuff. And this is my stuff over here. And I put all my stuff in the closet. And that's pretty much it. got my negative test last night so I'm able to walk around go to the PX go to the stores around here and um, that's me walking around now my barracks is right there and um, I just went to the PX and got some things so um, since today is Saturday I don't start in processing until Monday it's the holidays so I feel like I'm gonna be here a little bit longer because there's a four day weekend coming up and um, the whole process is like a week long. Now, what I did have to do while I was in my quarantine barracks, which I did not like that I had to do, was I had to clean because no one in there wanted to clean because they felt like they weren't the ones that messed it up. That's cool, whatever because i rather clean somebody else's dirt than to live on top of somebody else's dirt. So I cleaned the bathrooms, I cleaned the sink. I didn't clean the tub, I was, you know, shower shoes, you know, that's what shower shoes are for. So um, I was just ready to get out of my room at this point because I literally just laid in the bed, watched TV, caught up on sleep, got rest that I really needed um, I had someone that I already knew that was here bring me some food because the food that they bring you is like gel food. Um, I didn't like it. So I had somebody bring me some food for the first two days. And then the third day, or I think like the second day at night, I ordered food. They deliver the food to the front desk. The, um, soldiers on CQ will bring it up to your room. Um... So I did that and then I realized that um, I needed some stuff from the PX. So they also allow you to order stuff through the PX. You have to send them an email, tell them what you want, tell them what room number you're in, what building number you're in. They'll go shopping for you. They'll take a picture of the items in your cart and then they'll call you to um, ask for payment over the phone. So I did that and it came the next day. So that was cool. Um, you know, just look around at my environment. Like, this base is pretty dope. It seems pretty big, you know, very well put together. Most of the workers, like at the PX and stuff like that, are Korean. There's a um, Texas Row House up the street that I might walk to for dinner. Curfew is 11 p.m. Once you're able to go out, 
you're not allowed to have visitors you're not allowed to smoke you're not allowed to drink alcohol in the barracks rooms um so that's pretty much that i've been in contact with my sponsor and prayerfully i get my own room when i go over to my unit and am processing those barracks so that's what they're working on for me and you know that's that's pretty much it i feel like i need a whole video just to talk about this um phone situation and this sim card situation because you can't use your u.s number over here unless you want to pay an arm and a leg so i had to get a korean sim chip to put in my phone and the only way you're able to put it in your phone is if your phone is unlocked um you get your phone unlocked either by paying your phone off or submitting your military orders and they'll unlock it for you but I'm kind of confused because I have two phone numbers. I have a Korean number and I have a US number and I don't know how to uh, navigate both of those numbers so that I'm not being charged. So I have to try to call Verizon or I'm gonna go on the website once I get back to the room and figure out what I need to do and figure out what's going on because um, I'm not able to make phone calls and talk to people like I want to if I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and figure that out. But um, I appreciate y'all rocking with your girl Candy C. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye. We pay for chasing, yeah, we own.